welcome back. Today I'm going to do the first part of my makeup collection. This is going to be palettes. Before we get started, I'm going to give a little disclaimer. Most of the stuff I bought myself or was given to me or was gift with purchase. Okay, I'm going to be turning a little bit because it's kind of everywhere right now. And again, like I said in my last video, I'm in the middle of changing things around. That's why there's a little bit of a mess behind me. Okay, let's get started with some of my smaller compact type palettes. Let's see. And this is both high-end and low-end drugstore makeup. Okay, and the first one I have is the um, Mineral Fusion. I might have to try to zoom in here. Let's see, uh, right there. There, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's open this one up. They're really pretty. Pretty good pigment. It's been used a few times. I kind of like it. I like the pink and the browns on this particular palette plus it has a pretty little mirror and it's compact it fits my purse very nicely okay next one oh it's right here i was at kohl's a few months ago you can see it's a um, simply vera vera wang little palette and more neutrals. And these ones have a lot of browns and this pretty little uh, pink, very light light pink. I don't know if it's coming out pink in, in the camera. And this little one, it's another little round one so as you can see. It has a pretty good payoff as long as you use a primer. Most of them, the um, pigment if you use a primer, it shows up a lot better. And I like this one also. I have one that I really am not happy with. The pigment sucks really bad. I'll show it in a little bit. Okay, next I have the MAC. Um, which one is this? Burgundy times nine. And there is the colors. Oh, there you go. Very nice one. Again, it's just a little one. Nine colors. Then I have the Lancome. Some of you will recognize this from the gift with purchase last year. I was a little bit surprised how small the shadows were. And you could tell I used this quite a bit, played with it, and all that good stuff. It comes with a little mirror. Let's see. For my birthday uh, a couple years ago, my son got me this little tart palette. Some really nice little colors in there was one of my first Tarte palettes and I really liked that one. I used it quite often. And last year I found the Lancome or um, Lorac little small ones. I ended up giving the other two to my daughter. I kept this one because I really liked the colors in it. You see this dark brown, almost purpley shade and a lot of neutrals. Yes, I like my neutrals. It came with a little mirror. This one is Plum Velvet. And that one was all right. Next, I have a Smashbox one that I found. Where did I find it? Um, Nordstrom Off the Rack, I believe. I paid about 20 bucks for this one. And 
mirror. Plenty of colors to try it out. And it was pretty good. A lot of fallout. I remember that. <laughs> and this one is called uh, Cherry Smoke. And let's open it one more time. <laughs> Uh, there we go. I gotta get used to my camera again. <laughs> and another one I got for my birthday a couple years ago from my son. My Too Faced All na um, Natural at Night. And I really, really like this one. You get a lot of options. And yes, they changed the packaging. Um, couple years ago or last year I believe you could see <laughs> that there is a lot of selection and you could tell which ones I have played with a lot quite a bit and I like these ones very nice Next little pile, again, a gift with purchase. This one is the Lancome. Yes, this was the Lancome. I wanted to try their shadows. I was really in because I love their foundation and powders and stuff like that. And they have a really good um, mascara line that I really like. And you can see. You get a few colors, a lot of initials. Very nice little compact. And <laughs> all the hype about um, Lorac. I wanted to try another, some more colors. This one has a little mirror. And you get a very light one for highlight. Um, darker brownish color and a couple of darks. And I have a uh, Urban Decay uh, little one. I already had um, one of the pencils. I think the pencil is... Uh, can't tell <laughs> and because I don't really like the packaging on this one it makes it hard to get the eyeliner out came with a 24 7 eye pencil and I can't make out what it which one it is but I know I have it in my eyeliner collection and again you get a variety of a few darker shades plus a pop of color and a highlight with a little mirror. <laughs> and another gift with purchase. <laughs> I did buy a lot of gifts worth purchase at Estee Lauder. It's one of, Estee Lauder is one of my mom's favorite brands. So I had to try it, try it out. This one was pretty good. I was a little surprised. And I really like the purples and the browns and the, the lilac color is really pretty next to the dark purple. It's not really coming out purple on my camera, but this one here is the dark purple. And I have to, I have to play with it a little bit more to really uh, see how the pigment is and all that good stuff. My daughter had ordered a bunch of stuff from Sleek and she ordered me this palette and oh my goodness, I love this one. You can see there's all kinds of colors, neutrals, plus a few pots of color, um, different shades, a lot of purples and pinks and browns and a few highlights. I really like it. Very, very pigmented. I will order more. Okay, every YouTuber must have 
one of the It's Judy Time palettes. And yes, it took me a while, but I found it on Amazon. Judy did a great job choosing the colors. And I've played with this quite a few times. I like the purples and the blues and the browns, of course, since I love my neutrals. And I treasure this one since it took me so long to find it. It's one of those ones I don't want to um, use up because of how much I enjoy her show here on YouTube. It's Judy's Life. It's their daily vlogs. Okay, that is all of my smaller palettes. Now, um, here's a few of the ones that I've gotten, like at um, Kohl's and Marshall's. I believe most of them came from Marshall's of the um, these type of palettes. And this one is the Max Studio. Yeah. I haven't played with this very much. I don't. I think I played with one color, <laughs> mixed it with something else, and I do not like these sponge brushes. I usually just toss them or use them for crafts or whatever. But I thought the colors were pretty. You get oh. <laughs> You get this very uh, light color that kind of looks like sea. <laughs> and uh, quite a few different shades and neutrals. <laughs> That's what draw drew me to it. And I will let you know what I think more when I play with it more. And of course, here's my elf stuff. <laughs> yep, this one's the elf one of my elves. I have three of the palettes from e.l.f. This one has some hits and misses. I play with it quite a bit. And this is one of my older palettes. And a lot of purples and browns and pinks and some um, metallic colors like the gold and the bronze. <laughs> silver, etc, etc. <laughs> they are alright. Now this one I kind of bought on a whim. It's the Elf Beauty Book and it's more of the darker colors. Let's open it up. And one thing I don't like the formulation of their eyeliners. Usually they have a lot of glitter and because of my age and the way my eyes are, I don't like glitter really on my eyes <laughs> or on my face. <laughs> but this one has a black and boy it's dirty. <laughs> and a, a purple, a, a blue, you get a selection of a few of them. And it's really pretty um, fuchsia kind of color. It's not coming up fuchsia on, on the camera, unfortunately. But I haven't really played with it much. Elf, as most people know, is a little hit, hit and miss. Some are, are right, some are not. If I fit, seem a little off, it's because I woke up with a really bad backache. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next is the color workshop and it is very bright <laughs> whoa <laughs> and falling on me and it has some pinks a uh, very bright fuchsia red um, some neutrals some grays etc it comes with a mirror and it's pretty it's all right mm -hmm. a lot of the these ones these cheapy ones are kind of iffy but this one I bought oh boy probably three or four years ago um, I was at Ross and I saw these in the beauty area and I really like the colors uh, let's cover the mirror so you can get a closer look maybe 
and yes we've got purple of course some pinks some browns some yellows for highlights and peaches <laughs> and we'll see <laughs> I've had this so long I barely pick it up anymore with all the other ones that I have now my daughter had bought me this one when she made an order online and it's Isamar more <laughs> um, eyeshadow palette it's very you get a good selection a lot of them are not very pigmented and hard to um, put on um, get to stay on your eye and a lot of fallout but it's so pretty I love the packaging the, the heart with the roses and it's a light pink and perfect for me <laughs> okay, that's all of that stack okay this is kind of a splurge type palette that I found at Macy's when they first um, started their line of makeup which I was a little surprised because I used to work there <laughs> used to it's been a while I retired and with my back I, in my knees I can't do a lot of that kind of stuff anymore but this one you get some I don't know if you can see this mirror is huge which is nice but you get lip colors you get some blushes and you get six eyeliners or um eyeshadows sorry and some of my favorite colors um, they have a choice of three or four different palettes and this is the one that stood out to me. I was disappointed in the um, formulation of the eyeshadows. The blush is alright. I haven't tried the lipsticks or lip glosses, whatever it is. But packaging is so unique. It's like a, a pillow top but it's a hard plastic and metallic. <laughs> Silver. I was either at Sephora or I was on their website and I found this one and I wanted to give their eyeshadows a try and let's see. yes the purple stood out to me I really liked it it had a green or kind of green it's coming out green on the camera and a lot of dark shades and metallic shades and this bluey purple is really really pretty and it came with a little brush and an eyeliner that one was up I haven't really played with that one much either next let's see I will try some and show you some of these. A few years ago I found a cargo one. Where I don't remember where exactly I found it at. Whoa. And this is a good palette if you want to try cargo cosmetics. Let's move that. And you get a good selection of eyeshadows as you can see. And you get a couple of blush and uh, you can use it as a blush or a highlight if you're light skinned like me. You get lip glosses plus you get a couple of brushes, eyeshadow and lip brushes and a little um, blush brush. <laughs> and I played with it uh, a bit. Fallout is really bad on cargo um, eyeshadows that I found in this palette. Let's see. Okay. Now, we're going to get into my all-time favorite palette. Um, people that know me know I am obsessed with chocolate. And I, it took me a while, but 
I got the um, Too Faced um, chocolate palette, chocolate bar. And I love this. Not only does it smell like chocolate, but it looks like a chocolate bar. And the colors are really nice. And you can create so many different types, types of looks and just the smell is amazing. <laughs> I really like this one. And it is my all time favorite palette. My holy grail. <laughs> I rarely travel without this. It's always in my makeup bag. <laughs> always. Next was a birthday present from my daughter. The Naked 3. Because I love pinks, as you can tell by my name, nickname. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen it, I would recommend it if you like a lot of pinks and that kind of colors. And you get dark, some dark colors, all the way up to lights, and all different shades of pinks. And you get some purpley pinks and oh, it's really, really nice. Every time I play with this one, I love it. Urban De Decay did a really good job. And I'm not much for glitter or shimmer, but I love this one. I mix it with my um, chocolate bar palette quite often. Last year, I found this particular one. The Nude Dude Volume 2 by The Bomb. And I have played with this quite a bit. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. You get, uh, sorry about the flat flashes. You get some shimmer and you get quite a few nude um, colors. And the names are so funny. <laughs> you get your darks all the way to the, your lights. And this is a fun palette to play with. And I have one more from the from the bomb. The bomb. And this was a recommendation that I saw on Emily, Emily's channel. And I had to get it because 80s child. <laughs> And yes, this is the Bon Jovi. Yes, it's a play on Bon Jovi. And you get all kinds of these fun colors with really cool names. And you get, uh, let's see, a highlight, a uh, a blush and a couple of lip gloss, uh, lip gloss and lipstick or lip glosses and you get and it has a bunch of little expert um, ideas on the bottom and I, like Emily I like how it's separated you don't get fallout in your lip gloss and it's cute and it sits in my drawer I love it I played it with it I like the colors the bomb, the bomb has been really good for me. I like the colors a lot, and <laughs> they're funny. Okay, about a month ago, a couple months ago, I ordered this, and I was very happy with it. And it is the Tarte. What is this one called? Uh. I can't remember, but it comes in this case, a zipper. You open it up, you get a little mirror that this little travel compact comes in, gold. And in the compact, let's see, I'll set this down for a second. You get your, um, you get blushes, you get a, a bronzer, a highlight, and some um, eyeshadows and 
I haven't played with these ones yet because I haven't had it that long. And then you get all these pretty colors. All these different types if you wanted to really try tart eyeshadows and stuff. And I love tart. I really do. I play with this a few times and I really like the the colors and the way they go on. They did a really good job on this and it's cute. You could set it up on your shelf and display it and yes it's a really shimmery. <laughs> Okay, this next palette I've had for a very, very long time, and I got it at Ross a long, long time ago. You can see it's starting to fall apart, very much so. <laughs> Let's see, let's open this up. You get a little mirror that's supposed to stick to the top. And you get all these dark, bright colors. Sorry. Um, you get a, a lip gloss. Actually, two. As you can tell, I've had this for a very, very long time. I don't remember how long ago I bought it. You get all these blushes. They're pretty pigmented, a light touch. And all these eyeshadows. It didn't come with an eyeliner or mascara or anything like that, but you get all a choice of all these different wonderful colors. A lot of fallout, but if you're careful and clean it up afterwards, you could do some great looks. Next, I have, I found this at a liquidation store that I used to go to quite often and yes it's the M uh, life what's it called a uh, life palette the full size one let's open it up mine didn't come with a little compact which I was a little sad it comes with a little card and give you some ideas and this one, it's hit and miss. It's really hit and miss. Some are alright. Some are really bad. And like all brands, all companies, they all have hits and misses. And yes, um, she did a really good job on it, on the packaging, but I wish it had the smaller compact so I could take the colors that I really like and the ones that really work for me out and take them with me. I might put them into one of um, my Z palettes. I have a small one and a larger one and I'm going to give that a try and see what what I think and how, how it really works with me. I was a little bit disappointed in it but I have it and I found a great great deal I didn't pay full price I only paid about 20 bucks for mine which was fantastic and my last large palette I got at I think I got it at Marshall's on clearance so bear with me I've had this one for quite a while and it is dirty and I just dropped it and it fell apart <laughs> the case fell and yes I've had this for quite a while as you could see some of the colors are gone and since I dropped it they a lot of broke oh boy but I have it I and it was one of my first lar um, palettes that I've I got and now I have eyeshadow all over my pants. Oh boy. Okay, for the one that I don't like at all, my I kept it because my son got it for me a while ago, and I checked out their website 
and it wasn't cheap <laughs> at all. It should have been. The, I will explain that in a minute. This is called Makeover Essentials. And the idea is pretty cool. Each one is it could be taken out of the palette and you have duels and singles and it came with a bronzer and some other things plus brushes and lip gloss lipstick lip gloss type thing sorry about the glare each one is, has a little cover on it my complaint about it is it's not pigmented at all. I've tried primers. I've tried all kinds of stuff to make it work. It does not work at all. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend it. You can see Jazz's butt in the background. <laughs> Again, he's my Australian Shepherd. <laughs> Mini Australian Shepherd. He's sweet. He's... Now he's coming to say hi. <laughs> gonna try to get up on my lap for something yep <laughs> but um, my palettes I would not recommend this one the makeup essentials very very disappointed in it um, I, well that is all my palettes next I'll do um, singles and maybe some of my eyeliners um, I have quite a bit of those and we'll whittle down, whittle down my collection a bit and I have gone through and tossed and gave away a bunch that I don't use anymore um, and I gave my daughter a bunch of my lip glosses and lipsticks <laughs> and tossed a bunch <laughs> anyway I hope everyone's having a good day and I hope this video is not real, real long. I hope it's not. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.